uh, first of all, Pooja, congratulations for the success of Out and it has Thank been doing very well on YouTube and yeah. everyone is liking it. So, <laughs> and welcome to Movie Talkies. Thank you. So, Out is doing very well on YouTube. Hmm. So, what are your thoughts on the same? I'm very happy. I really would not have had it any other way, you know, that uh, the work is being appreciated, people are liking the film, uh, people are laughing about it and uh, they have good things to say about it. I'm very happy. <laughs> Uh, what made you give your nod to this project? Um, I think I had given a nod uh, in the first call itself because the call was directly from Neeraj Pandey. He said that uh, he's doing a short film and uh, he's written it and he's going to be directing it. So there was no way that I would have said a no to it in under any circumstances. Uh, Pooja, you're not married, you don't have a child. Exactly. And, of course, you don't have uh, any relation, I guess. And uh, you're not dating anyone, I mean. So, uh, Why do you how, want to know that? <laughs> it's just a question. <laughs> so, uh, I just want to know how did you prepare for this role? Because uh, it was a different role and of course you have not been experienced, had yeah. these kind of experience in your yeah. personal life. Yeah. Real life. Yeah. No, it definitely difficult tha. It wasn't uh, easy. Uh, in fact, right from the first time when I read the script, it felt ki it's a mature character. Hai. Uh, how will I play it? She's she's a mother of a child. She has an extramarital affair. Kitni conflicted hai dimag mein, you know, complex character hai. She has to be matured, a certain amount of seriousness, sensitivity. Still, she's going against her, uh, the society norms because she has an extramarital affair. So, ye character kya hai? So, it would defi definitely it was confusing, complex, uh, difficult. Uh, Neeraj Pandey did try his best to make it a little, the route simpler for me. He explained the character to me. I tried to live that character for two days. Because uh, we had, oh, it's, it was, it's just a one day shoot. This entire thing is shot only in one day. So uh, I knew that there will time nahi hoga, takes, retakes or get into the skin character mein on the day of the shade. There is not going to be any time. Pooja Chopra. So you make sure that you, first time you go in front of the screen, in front of the monitor, in front of the camera, you should be, you should go as Priya. So two days I made sure that I slept like Priya, thought like Priya, ate like Priya. Uh, even in the workshops I was extremely, extremely serious and committed and I wanted to make sure that uh, he sees Priya in me. The, whatever he's imagined in his head that Pooja will be able to play Priya. I wanted to, uh, you know, um, convince him that choose ki hai, that she can act and perform. So that was... That so, how many days you did the preparation for this role before going <coughs> as Priya in front of camera? I don't think I had too many days. Uh, one week pehle mujhe call aya tha and uh, three days later we uh, did two day workshop and then we went ahead and shot it. So, bahut zyada time nahi mila. But I think uh, little time milta to zyada better hota hai because uh, you know you you know you give it even more because you know you have little time. So, uh, I I did my best that I could. And how was it working with Manoj Bajpayee for the first time? And like he's an acting pillar. Yeah. So, were you a little apprehensive? Earlier, um, the first thought that came to me when I got to know that uh, Manoj Bajpayee is with who I'm going to be sharing the sc screen space with, I was, uh, um, I developed cold feet. I was like, oh, you know, oh my God. Matlab, jaise, this was not difficult. Ye ab sar pe hai. Ab, how do you perform in front of him? It's not going to be easy. I knew it's not going to be easy. But uh, I was like, look, there is no time to be nervous. Consider it as, as a blessing that you're getting to act with, with such an uh, amazing experienced actor, such a senior actor. But, um, and, um, and, you know, being the person that he is, workshop mein jab aaye the, are, you know, like so chill, so cool, uh, jokes crack kar rahe the. he tried to break the ice, remembered our in a, uh, previous um, workshop that we attended together. He didn't make me feel like he is the Manoj Bajpai who we see on screen and say, kya jakas actor hai, you know, bhikkhu mathe and all these things. He's, he's, he's a terrific actor. But uh, it just made me feel that he's another actor who's over there doing his job. So uh, he tried as much to keep the, um, you know, the entire atmosphere very chill, very cool, very professional, very happy and friendly. Um, and of course, he was extremely supportive and encouraging. Uh, tell us something about Manoj which you have observed and no one knows as of now. Uh, something you have noticed on the set or so maybe getting to know him more better. Yeah, I think uh, he is uh, extremely, extremely conscious about his diet. I think that only hero people, you know, uh, grilled vegetables and boiled chicken and fruits and green tea. Bhi thai. But Manoj sir is extremely, extremely conscious. Uh, during the breaks, he would eat chanas or uh, black tea and, you know, very, very conscious. So, that was a good thing, you know, ki, uh, he knows, I am sure that if Manoj Bajpai sir put 10 kilo weight, then it will not affect him because people love his acting. 
but he still doesn't take anything for granted he doesn't take his acting for granted he doesn't take his stardom for granted he doesn't take his fans fan following for granted he still is so conscious and he wants to work on himself which is which is great and i think exceptional and um, very very admirable uh, how is it working with neeraj pandey the current director which has been like initially raised as a director yeah. at every level and you and it was just your second project um working with neeram neeraj pandey is definitely a dream coming true because i have i've watched his films and i've loved all of his films i think he's one of the one of the most intelligent directors and uh, during the workshops and throughout the shoot of ouch i realized that i love the way he thinks his thought process is very clear he knows ki nahi ye priya nahi karegi he he doesn't say ki acha sochne do ye priya karegi ya nahi karegi he knows mere ko ye nahi chahiye mere ko ye chahiye and uh, more often than not he is bang on you know the story is written by him people are loving it the character is etched by him both the characters people are completely um, gaga over it so you know that he's he knows what he knows what audience likes he knows the pulse of the audience and most often than not he's he's bang on and uh, i would love to him work with him again <laughs> Uh, tell us more about your acting as in what kind of actor you are do you stick to director's vision hmm. or do you also improvise and ask for ask the director give him like your views at times mm, you know uh, in commando uh, i could uh, possibly give my views because i was playing my age and a lot of scenes in commando are how i would do it in real life what was told to me was how would you play the screen pooja uh, how would you play the scene you tell us and i would play it and the director would say yeah do it because that character was very close to me she was a happy bubbly spunky punjabi girl uh, so it was very close to me i could give my my uh, input but i think in this i stuck i totally stuck and went by whatever neeraj sir wanted me to deliver and as he saw the character mere paas kuch zyada inputs the nahi kyunki i had no reference to pull back from my life and uh, and you don't want to give any inputs when neeraj pandey is in front of you you know he's an institute he is literally an institution in, in in himself so everything he said he said if he said ki do step aage jao fir right mud lo i said okay sir like a robot i would go do step aage and mudo right and uh, i'm happy i did that nowadays many bollywood actors are also doing short films which was not seen right. the scenario earlier hmm. so what do you think is the reason behind it why everyone hmm. why everyone's doing short films this is the future of of uh, cinema and about, uh, of for talent right i think 3 uh, uh, million log uh, theater mein nahi jaate filme dekhne but 3 million views abhi ouch ko mil chuke hain that means that it is a far bigger and greater medium uh, than films as well which is good because as actors you get to show and showcase your talent your craft uh there is another avenue completely that's opened up but other than films now there are web series there are short films to har ek ke liye aur zyada kaam aa gaya you know mil gaya in fact so many uh, justin bieber became a huge star how it's youtube right so uh, which is great so that means i don't think or see it as a small medium anymore you made your bollywood bollywood debut by commando and you are not part of commando 2 now hmm. any reasons you want to share a uh, reason is ob- obvious you know the script is completely changed because the commando has missions to do and uh, the mission that he had in commando one was in diler court a, in a gaon and now he has an international uh, you know mission so now there is no way that they could um, you know pick lift uh, simrit sarabjit kaur from diler court and put her in malaysia there was no connect that they could possibly find and which was discussed with me and um, although i didn't would not have and didn't want to let commando to go but you know i had to gracefully because uh, it is for the larger pic cheer for the script for the people who are all involved in it so any bollywood actors you would love to work with in future yeah i really love sharukh khan and i really 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 like ranveer kapoor okay and uh, any yeah, specific bollywood pink. character would you love to play maybe devdas whatever whatever comes to your mind uh, there are so many characters you know that uh, you love the most and <coughs> you would love to play in future There's so specific. many characters that that you know you see and you really really love and you want to uh, get a get a chance to perform uh, like them. So many, so many. You have to pick one, some, any name randomly which comes to your mind and you love the same. I'm a huge fan of Imtiaz Ali, mm-hmm. and uh, Jab Bhi Mere happens to be my favorite film. Okay. So and character of Geet I think is really close to me. Uh, punjabi choppy and uh, sensitive emotional and in in um, positive so i think i would love to play a character somewhere close to that uh, any upcoming projects in future mm, not right now i think after ouch i'm going to see whatever best comes my way maybe as substantial as ouch which is able to create a bigger impact i think i'll take it up
any message you would like to give uh, to the aspiring actors who are not from filmy background and still trying to make it big because you are also from the same uh not from filmy background the first thing i would want to tell them that it's not going to be an easy fight you know people um people out there in in mumbai are extremely talented very hard working aapko sabhi ko lagta hai ki i am the best but uh, when you come here and then reality strikes and you see are itne sare log hain who are equally talented more talented and better looking better bodies and um, but i think um, a very genuine advice that i can give you is if you really 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 passionate about acting go for it i mean if you, if it's your passion you have to pursue it you have to give it a shot there shouldn't be any regrets so go for it but make sure that you give it just in just enough time maybe 2 years or 3 years or 4 years just to see if it's working out for you or not and then always have a, a backup plan you don't want to after 3 years realize ki are yaar ab acting mein kuch nahi ab kya kare that is um, that's not a nice space that anyone would want to see themselves in so i think um, go for it for sure with all that you got and then but have a backup plan and give yourself any, some time okay any message you would like to give your fans who are liking ouch and of course your looking forward for your future projects um uh, yes i would want to thank them with all my heart that thank you so much it means a lot to me because um you know it was something that i tried in terms of short films in terms of um, the character it ha- it wasn't something that i had done before so i was nervous ki pata nahi kaisa receive hoga but uh, thank you that everybody has received it so well thank you and just uh continue the support and the love that's it thank you thank you thank you puja for talking to me talking thank you